I'm going to replace the servo on this winger. I've done a number of steps in advance to make this a shorter video. But in essence, I've drilled out the pop rivets for the old servo. I've unscrewed this bracket. I've cut the wires and I cut this cable. So you didn't have to watch me do all of that. And I'm going to install the new servo in here. This is a home built winger. So it's a little bit easier to work on than some of the name brand ones. The name brand ones tend to enclose all of this into a large bracket which you have to disassemble, but you'll find basically the same things inside. Now here's my idea. These wires have to be cut and then spliced in or you have to wire them into the back of the servo like was done with this last one. And I just think it's an unnecessary step. That's why I bought this connector. It's called an S-Connector, I believe, from Servo City, along with the high-tech servo that I got from Servo City. And I'm going to wire that into the uh, circuitry of the winger. And then if this ever needs to be replaced again, it's just going to be a matter of unplugging the servo, taking it out, plugging the new one in. And that'll make the job a lot faster. I already know from the uh, information on the Servo City uh, website that uh, black line is negative. And I probably should solder these connections. But again, I'm not going to sit here on a video and make you watch me solder. Although maybe that would be fun. wonder how many people would watch that video. Alright, now I'm about ready to test this. Yeah, and I did. I put it in backwards. But that's why you always want to test your work. These are go in and out easy enough. But that's not going to be a big deal. Again, I'm just going to set this in here gently. There. That servo, for the most part, is replaced at this point now. I'm going to want to redo this arm a little bit. That's where the fine tuning of all this comes in. Because our control unit, Tritronix, I use, and I think most of us use, only gives a short burst of electricity for maybe a few seconds. Now, I had cut off uh, what was on here before cable, and it was attached with a cable uh, crimper. I again think that's a little bit too much work. I'm going to use my favorite here, a bailing wire. This is a standard uh, gate hinge, by the way for my release mechanism. I'm just going to use this bailing wire on this because it's easier to adjust since I may have to do a couple of adjustments. But uh, again, I'm not going to have you watch me pop rivet this in and tighten in the screws and then do this uh, adjustment I'll have to do. That's how you replace a servo on a winger.